Well, folks, you ever been into the great unknown? Well, here is the great unknown. I don't ever work on diesel anything. This thing's set 10 years. I've never drove one, so I don't even know what to expect. Got it running. Runs really good. Just very slow. They say top speed is 15 to 18, depending on your clutching. This thing runs about 12. I've adjusted out the throttle cables, put a brand new belt on it. The clutch is working right. So... I don't know about these, but I'm suspecting that they're the, similar to any other Yamaha diesel. And the research I found is that little copper plug right there above the shutoff solenoid, we need to cut that jacket with a Dremel tool and there'll be an adjustable nut and bolt there. I also adjusted that bolt all the way up so I don't have any stop limiter on the throttle. And that's supposed to give us a little bit more umph or speed or whatever I don't know I'm looking for torque here I'm maxing out about 15 to 18 is fine I just need to get there quicker and this thing is slow as molasses I can jump off it and run faster so if you do see this video it's probably because this trick worked so I'm gonna go ahead and hook my old Dremel tool up and I'm gonna try to cut that little cover off and if I get it off you will be able to see it and just like that Dremel tool cut the outer sleeve of that off and that leaves us right here with this adjustable bolt. See that? It was under that cover. They obviously don't want us to adjust that, but I'm going to adjust it, John Deere, because I need more power. We'll see what happens when we adjust it. Well, we turned that little screw out, I say, uh, three or four turns, maybe. Maybe more. Gave it a little bit more power. I also bent the gas pedal up just a little bit so I could get the full pull off the throttle cable. But before I did that, I could already tell a difference from adjusting that screw. Just like any other diesel you ever seen that went fast. That's right, boys. She black smoke. Uh, this thing runs about 13 mile an hour, so it's a real freaking speed demon, I tell you. I'm assuming, since there's no freaking suspension back here other than the air in the tires, and because it's a workhorse, that uh, I'm just not going to be able to get much more speed out of it without changing like gear ratios or doing some crazy stuff with the clutches. They do have, uh, you know chains and sprockets and all but just changing them will only change the gear ratio on the back set of tires so that's not going to make that big of a difference clutching gearing uh, i'm sure i could tear that transmission apart or substitute it with a different transmission and maybe get something different going on there or pull the clutches apart change the weights and springs and get a little more out of her on the takeoff but she does good enough um i'm pretty well uh, done with it. The deal is I had this nice gator for sale this morning and these two old folks come up here to look at it and they drove it and said it was too slow for their liking. So I tried my best to make it faster and uh, you got this screw here. I guess that's like a throttle limiter screw. It's under a little cap. Mine doesn't have the little cap anymore. I backed it all the way out and then you're remove that metal cover there remember that and you pull that bolt off and there's a I mean that nut off and there's a bolt underneath it you break this one loose and you screw that one out and that's what turns up the fuel injection pump and uh, that's pretty much the gist of it that's all I can I have did all I can do fellas and this is gonna be the end of this video trial and error of John Deere Gator Diesel if you're not getting a great deal on it leave it alone i've got 350 in this one so that was a great deal well worth messing with